Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. I'm here at the biggest barbecue show you've ever seen in your life. And I'm here with Chef Virgil, who's going to help me cook today. We're going to cook something delicious. We're making? Salmon. Tuna. So it's going to be delicious. Chef Eric is here somewhere. He used to be. Somebody's got to do all the stuff. You know, I come here to the Netherlands hanging out with Pitmaster X. He just puts me to work all day long. We've got a lot of things cooking. There are a lot of people here that need to be fed. We got the master build set up, loaded up with the ribs and lots and lots of delicious pork. But take a look at this grill. We're looking at this beautiful meat and we're slowly letting this come up to temperature. And guess who is in charge of the beer? It's my main man, Ben Forte. <laughs> yes, I am. I have one job. Leave it to the English guys to take care of the beers then you will never be short on beer. So if you miss this party, you know what you're missing. A lot of good food and a lot of good drinks. Now I'm gonna show you what we're actually gonna make. Chef Virgil got us a beautiful tuna fillet, two of them actually, and a beautiful salmon. And these pieces of meat that come straight out of the ocean are super, super tasty. And we came up with the best recipe and the way to cook them. Chef Virgil's putting the salmon on the barbecue, and as you can see, we have two setups, one with a soapstone and one with cast iron griddle. Now, the reason we set it up like this is because we want the salmon to cook slowly. We want it to come up to temperature, but we don't want the egg whites to pop out, so we're gonna need a slow cook. Whereas with the tuna, we're going to need a heavy sear. You wanna do the honors of cutting the tuna so we can grill up some steaks? Of course, we are running a show at the moment, so we want to have as much options as we can to show the people what we're doing and why we're doing it. So we're also going to put these steaks on the grill so we can have options. Now look at that beautiful tuna. It's going to go straight on. I want to lay this up and put as much on as I possibly can because we got a hungry crowd. Once we get that sear on that tuna steak, we're going to take it off, start seasoning. Chef, what's going on? What are you cooking? We gotta pack this baby full. We got a party here in a minute. So party? Yeah. Dude, yeah. nobody told me about a party. Four to six, the Pitmaster X party. Pitmaster X party. <laughs> I like that. You know, I think we got about 300 people coming, and so we've got all these grills jam-packed with some of the most delicious food that Germany has ever seen. But the DJ just started, pumped up the music. That means crowd coming in in about five minutes. This space is gonna be packed. We are gonna be serving out, and what we're gonna do? Entertain Ping. people with 40 different menu items. Fun sauces, fun marinades, fun people. What could be better? One big party. You're asking why I do have this giant surfboard, and the reason is because that tuna is starting to look like it's almost finished. And I'm not talking about cooking the inside, I'm cooking the outside. We're gonna eat that tuna raw on the inside, but we want a beautiful sear, and Chef Virgil just did that for us. Then we're gonna load it up to this beautiful cutting board and build up a nice platter. So the tuna's ready, but we gotta wait for the salmon a little bit. At that moment, we're just gonna let that tuna do its work, but it's gonna need some seasoning. And all it needs is this magical jar that we got on the back. This is a teriyaki glaze, so we're gonna put a little drop of that on our tuna steaks. This beautiful glaze is bringing in all its sweetness, and I just wanna rub it in, make sure that we got a lot of service and this glaze is touching everything. Then, I'm gonna layer up this. This is called furikaki. A furikaki is basically a mixture of all kinds of ingredients, but it gives off a nice crunch, a little bit of spiciness, and a lot of seaweed flavors. Impressive dish, the salmon is almost ready. But the most important thing is what we did on the grill. And we got one half set up with a soapstone and the other half with a cast iron. So even though we have one temperature in the grill, we're able to cook two different things. We're able to get a good sear on the tuna and at the same time do a low and slow on the salmon. When it's done, it's gonna fall apart and you can just pull it off the board later on, put it in your mouth and suck it all the way. Eric, you wanna suck my salmon after? <laughs> all right guys, make some room, coming in because you don't want to miss this. Let me grab the salmon, but before we do, seaweed nachos, brother. You're hungry, I can see. I'm gonna make sure you get some, bud. Now this is one I want to show you guys. If I bend it, the salmon is gonna let you know if it's finished or not. Do you see it breaking? 
that's the sweet spot. Now it's breaking and you know it's tender and it's juicy. It's fallen apart by itself, turned super, super delicate. I'm gonna give you a little teriyaki glaze on top and then I'm gonna finish it off with some furikake, which is gonna crunch things up, season it at the same time. Woo! Chaverik showed up with the caviar. Don't wanna miss out on the caviar. Dropping that caviar in. There we go. And there you have it. Beautiful plate. We got tuna, we got seafood nachos, and we got salmon. Smoked in perfection, juicy, crispy, tasty. Don't be shy to use your hands and grab a piece. Put some on your board. There we go. For the ladies first. There you go. As you can see, we're feeding the hungry crowd and uh, they are plenty hungry and getting excited about all the food. And I hope you guys enjoyed your show. And if you did, don't let us know. Leave us a comment down below. Big thumbs up. See you guys next time. Until then, hey, smile and keep on grilling. He got me mowing his grass, doing this, that, and he told me, oh, come over to my house. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Ha, ha, ha.